Well, it's confession time. I fell into the trap of an EDC fad early on in my journey with you guys here on YouTube. Everyone else was doing it and I wanted to do it too. In Gideon's Tactical Family, I feel stupid, I feel embarrassed, and I feel ashamed. But I can't hide it anymore and this has to be dragged into the light. Crossbody tactical bags are a poor choice for an everyday carry pack. I used to see these as a viable option for an EDC system, and I wasn't alone. Back almost a decade ago in those first few years of getting this tactical and me creating content, everybody was into these over-the-shoulder, compact, you know, crossbody packs that were very popular. They, they just seemed like everyone and their brother had one to carry their compact EDC system in. And so I jumped on the bandwagon. I was like, man, if that's what everybody's doing, let me try these out. You know, like, yeah, okay. But as a year, two, three, four went by, I began to realize that I would use them for a few months and then I would always gravitate back to either some form of briefcase messenger bag or low profile backpack. And there are a few reasons why. First, it looks like a tacked out version of my wife's favorite purse that she grabs on the way out the door. Now, of course, it's got the cool army green and I got my tacked out sheepdog and you know favorite tactical patch. Even when I watch old videos of me testing out similar designed bags, at first thought, I'm like, is that a purse? No, that's not a purse. That's a crossbody bag. Okay, that's a crossbody bag. But even more than that, it does draw undue attention and, you know, paint a target on your back or hip. I mean, when you see someone walking through a crowd with this bag on or a bag very similar, immediately it stands out on a male body. Most men don't wear a bag like this, particularly if it's tacked out in any sort of color patches, you know, that are more military in nature. And it says, hey, that person probably has maybe a firearm, maybe that person has some way to defend themselves, uh, you know, maybe they're law enforcement or military undercover, and you are immediately the target of a bad guy before anybody else, giving you less opportunity to not only defend yourself, but those around you. And for me, when I'm thinking of my everyday carry system, I try to be as low profile as I can, as gray man as I can, not trying to draw undue attention to myself. And guys, if you're not yet a subscriber to the channel, I do invite you to become part of the Gideon's Tactical family to hit that like button. Make sure to smash the bell icon so that you can be notified every week when I break down gear and equipment, share concepts with you, ideas like in this video to help you better understand what you need, what's required and what a gear item can, or in some cases cannot do for you. That's what I always do week in, week out here. And I, for those of you who are regular subscribers and come back week after week, thank you so much. You are amazing. And I appreciate you being a part of the Gideon's Tactical family. But almost more importantly than that, I never found that this style of bag could get it done right. Get the task of carrying my gear and equipment the way I wanted to. It's either too small to really do what I would want to be able to carry an actual dedicated water bottle that's any bigger than 16 ounces because the weight just slings the entire bag to one side. It's very uncomfortable. If you ever had to book it, it's going to flop all over like crazy and ends up being a nuisance. And then you end up just holding your water bottle anyway than trying to stuff it in these compact pockets. So with the hydration system not really being able to be taken care of, yes, there's enough compartmental space in here to have a compact EDC kit with a few tools that you may want or a compact med kit or being able to carry your you know the compact firearm or spare magazines and those type of supplies but again it highlights back to the fact that it's not on your body it's off body which is never ideal for a defensive tool but also that as you begin to put more and more gear in it, it loads more and more down on the body, making it not enjoyable to carry. And I found that outside of the bare necessities, this wouldn't be able to carry certain items that I need to carry with me from time to time, regardless if that was a laptop, a particular type of book or tablet I was using, or a spare coat, or some sort of other item always seemed to be too big. And then I'd have to go over to a backpack again or a messenger bag anyway, and then rotate through all this equipment to put that in there. And then three days later to bring it all back into this bag to then just go around town or go out for a day when I didn't need that stuff on the weekend. So it became this constant juggling act that never made sense. And I came to realize that these compact, inexpensive, multi-layer pouches could carry everything and all the gear that the compact crossbody bags can carry, but I could easily just grab and go with me if necessary, 
but could easily go inside a messenger bag or a backpack and then my EDC system was much more portable in different scenarios. And that finally bleeds into value. I feel like it's just not there. This is a very basic lightweight 511 bag that they now actually have discontinued that they only launched a year or two ago, obviously showing that I'm not alone in this feeling that these crossbody bags just don't really make sense. Obviously probably aren't selling very well because people are coming to realize that it was a fad for that mid 2000s that we experienced at $65 on average for this model, and oftentimes I can go for about $100, when you lack a lot of the versatility that I just highlighted, and you can easily get plenty of full-size briefcase style messenger bags or backpacks for 20 bucks more, the capability to limitations just aren't there. Now, of course, this cross-body bag isn't completely useless. I think they are still viable in their original design, what they were intended to be used in the beginning, which is to be deployed with spare magazines and med kits and those type of supplies and be slung over your body while you're also wearing your assault pack or a radio kit and you're in law enforcement, military, or God forbid, zombie apocalypse, end of the world situation. And their intended purpose to carry those things and have it over your body armor and over a lot of other bulky gear equipment to give you quicker access to those type of supplies in a downrange, you know, life and death situation and not for just carrying to go to the office or, you know, an out, an outing with your family to the park. I just believe that there are better scenarios, better set up for that, that will keep you lower profile and just doesn't scream, hey, look at me, I'm prepared, come after me, or look at that weirdo over there, get the kids away. And gives you the ability to stay low profile and just get more out of your situation with regardless if you're using a messenger bag, a large sling bag that goes over your shoulder like a backpack, or just a dedicated backpack. But guys, that's my mileage, that's my perspective, and kind of an awakening recently after I got this 511 bag, used it a little bit and realized, what am I doing? There's a reason why I haven't had one of these or tested one of them in several years, because they just don't work. And it's been a mistake to think that that would be a good choice for an EDC system nine out of 10 times. But maybe your mileage varies and I wanna hear from you guys. Do you totally agree? Should I be ashamed? And it just was the, one of the biggest mistakes of my life. And for probably some of you who are watching, biggest mistake of your life, going after those for a while. Or do you see huge value in it and you use it every day? I look forward to seeing the comments below. I do invite you guys to check out the other video popping up and to subscribe if you haven't yet. And as always, remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and I'll see you out there.